Welcome to HD Nation. I'm Robert Heron. And I'm Patrick Norton. HD Nation is your guide to the best in HD content and the best in home theater gear, no matter what your budget is. Blu-ray, online, satellite, cable, over the air. If it's in HD, we like it. Yep. Well, before anybody asks, I'm just about sure we never get to review the Google Android-powered HD TV from People of Lava that was announced this week. But if anybody in Sweden can get their hands on one when it hits in September, well, let us know what you think, please. <laughs> yeah, we just had to say People of Lava. Now, that is a brand name. Nothing against Samsung or Vizio or Sony, but... People of Lava. Yes, People <laughs> of Lava. On a more serious note, we're not panicking yet, but an appeals court decision this week pretty much slammed the FCC to the ground and kicked it over and over again for telling Comcast that Comcast had to treat all broadband streams equally, i.e. the whole concept of net neutrality. This could have some interesting effects on how well movies and other big fat files move across the internet. Why? The court pretty much said the FCC isn't empowered to regulate ISPs, ergo ISPs can do whatever they want, at least, you know, unless somebody else regulates them, in terms of throttling traffic moving across their network. Now, I'm pretty sure Comcast, who sued the FCC and the other major ISPs, don't want to find themselves the subject of, say, major regulation set down by, say, inactive Congress, I, especially if, say, Congress says, yes, the FCC has the power, here's the law we wrote to say that they have the power, which would be really kind of ugly to watch. So I don't think you're suddenly going to find Comcast material getting significantly prioritized bandwidth over, say, Netflix, which, of course, if you didn't know, degrades video quality based on your connection speed, which could be done by by tools on the network, well, packet sniffers, if Comcast lost their mind. We'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm not panicking, but I'm just saying this is one to watch long term. I'm panicking. Anyway, <laughs> speaking of watching <laughs> epic battles, our buddy Ben over at Engadget HD says the true killer app for HD 3D is sports. Which is why I've been watching golf this week. Excuse me? Yeah, baby. Yes, I have been watching golf. Comcast has well, a like NASCAR 3D channel. Polo golf? No, this is the Masters tournament, baby. So, wait, Comcast? I, yes, I have a reason for watching this, though. Comcast, uh, my TiVo actually popped up a message saying, you have a brand new channel. And it says, oh, it's called Com 3D HD TV or 3D HD TV. Yeah, that's what it is. And it turns out that this is Comcast's new 3D test channel, and it went Ooh. live pretty much today, just in time for the 2010 Masters Tournament, tournament, which is being held right now in Augusta, Georgia, which, uh, as I take it, being not the golf aficionado that <laughs> I know other people might be, it's a big deal in the world of golf. Now, the 3D is being broadcast over pretty much, you have to live in a selective market, of course, okay. which includes uh, places like here in the Bay Area of California, Seattle, Portland, Denver, Twin Cities. Where's the Twin Cities? Uh, that would be like Minnesota. Okay. Minneapolis, St. Paul, sorry. Ah, just had to know. <laughs> anyway, Philadelphia, Boston, Washington, D.C., Atlanta, Chicago, Miami, and Indianapolis. Those are major metro markets. Pretty much. You do not have a 3D HD TV. Not at home. I do not. So, Were you able to see the fancy 3D? They are doing it using a split frame technology, side-by-side -side frame technology for delivering the HD signal. So <laughs> Did you get your blue and gray glasses on? It's, it's not even that. You do need an HD, you need, do need a 3D HD TV. One of the new ones, either okay. from... Panasonic or Samsung and Sony soon, and as well as the regular 3D glasses, and you also have to have an HD set-top box, HD service from Comcast. Uh, the set-top boxes can include the Moxie DVR Ooh. that we showed off a couple weeks ago, as well as the TiVo HD boxes. Those will work. Tuned into the channel, and if you don't have that 3D gear set up, all you'll see is a split screen with two images that are slightly <laughs> squeezed, well, a lot squeezed, showing the, uh, the basically the left and the right eye view. It's being shot in 3D on very high precision cameras, and it's actually being broadcast and transmitted using the, the technology you already have, save for the TV itself. Do they I have thought. content that'll actually fill this channel 24 seven, or is it just gonna be like, hey, here's a live sporting event. Hey, no here's a movie this we got. Just their test. Okay. I think it's only being used for this currently, and they'll include some of that 3D broadcast will be on their on-demand channel as well. If you wanna just, if you eventually get the gear and you just wanna see what that looked like, you'll be able to go back and do that. I'm saving it on my DVR for posterity's sake, but it's so you like... you can play it back later. Yeah, when I finally do get my own <laughs> little 3D HD TV. And the other thing, too, is this particular signal type is different from what you'd get on a Blu-ray disc that'll oh, be coming out. So not only is it half the resolution of what the uh, Blu-ray discs will right. be, but uh, you have to manually enable the TV's 3D mode. It won't automatically see the stream and go, oh, that's a 3D channel, unlike it would supposedly from a disc-based material. Hmm. So, eh, some trade-offs, but you know what? 
my current gear, save for I need a new TV now, but <laughs> dang, it, it looks good. And I have to say that the announcers were, were putting on 3D glasses during the broadcast, and they were they were mildly giddy to say the least. They were they were ooing and aahing just <laughs> every five minutes. I'm <laughs> just practically inside his swing. It's neat. And if you have 3D PC <laughs> gear, you can go right to the Masters website. I think it's masters.com, oh, yeah, and they have a 3D view, live view right there. And Quick, I, nvidia.com. I need I'm, to order glasses. Yeah, I'm not sure what the PC setup would be. It's, uh, it's different. Different from your your TV side of things, but maybe we can get something up and running deal. for next week. Uh, if you're on Twitter at Criterion Cast says more at Criterion Films. That's Criterion, one of our favorite uh, production houses. Basically, they take classic films and make them look pretty. They put them out on disc. They added a bunch of movies to Netflix Watch instantly, just in time for the iPad app. They've got actually, which well, you tell them about it. Oh, hey, now if you're dying to see the Criterion's loving treatment of classic movies, check out the complete list at Criterion Cast dot com slash Netflix. Netflix just added a bunch of seasons of different television shows recently too, so I'd keep an eye on that page. Yeah, if you're looking to waste massive amounts of time. Oh, oh you had to pull it out, didn't you? I had to pull it out. Well, this is actually uh, this is a Criterion's edition of Black Narcissus, a gorgeous post World War II flick came out of sort of the there's a big a, a wave, a movement of cinema after World War II coming out of Britain. Uh, this is one of the movies that inspired Martin Scorsese, amongst others, and it's actually playing right here on my iPad in 4x3 because it's a 4x3 movie. Um, this can also play iTunes HD video, so you can get your 720p-ish video on on the wee little screen. Look at the size of those black bars. And if you, yeah, well, if you if you want to minimize the black bars, it'll automatically oh. crop it for you. So hey, kind of slick. You can lose the edge detail. That's fancy. In exchange for the... Uh, black bars. YouTube and iTunes video both play back in dedicated applications just like the iPhone. If you're like me, you're thinking another portable HD-ish player, right? Well, don't get too excited because the video output is either via a composite cable or VGA output from the dock accessory. Wow. What the year dock, is this? Oh, it gets even worse, dude. I, I, I get, I'll explain <laughs> in a second. The dock max is at a 1024 by 768 the native resolution of the screen, which is a tad short of 720p's 1280 by 720. More important is Barrett Lyon put it on Twitter. iPad's VGA output quality is great, but the output selection sucks. iTunes will not play DRM video out on VGA, nor will the Netflix app. Boo. Boo. Boo, especially given we're seeing um, <laughs> phones capable of HDMI output. Uh, say hello to the Evo 4G from mm -hmm. HTC. And maybe Apple will bring HDMI out on their next-gen Super HD iPhone coming out later this year. Yeah, I is guess. It, are they, is that really going to happen? I, that's the rumor. I mean, I look, look, Apple's notorious or infamous or, or beloved for <laughs> taking a 1.0 product, getting people like me to help work the bugs out of it, and then re revealing, reducing, releasing is a good ah. word, a spectacular 2.0 product. Excellent. Who knows? <laughs> In any case, by the way, if you're wondering why VGA, to connect to projectors for office meetings, of course, so you can show presentations. In, uh, <laughs> in uh, 1024 by 768. Really? Even the output resolution maxes out at that, too? It gets even worse, dude. The dock, the iPad dock, $29, which you need to attach the $29 VGA adapter to the iPad. That's kind of harsh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Shall we move on to some emails? I think it's time. Hey, Alan Kay wrote in. He said, while researching an HTPC build, that's a home theater PC, I came across a company which will soon be selling a quad tuner PC card that uses a single multi-stream cable card to tune and record four channels at once. Woohoo! Uh -huh. <laughs> now, I was hoping to get a review of the device before I hand over the $400 plus the cost of a capable home theater PC. The company is Seton Technologies, and they can be found at seatoncorp.com. Looking forward to your review, signed Alan K. Yeah, yeah, this now, is pretty cool. I'm hoping, or we're hoping to get one in. Heck, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to buy one for the HTPC I have at home because that's really the only part it's missing is to be able to grab my cable stream and then do it up. <laughs> and besides that, cable cards are cheap, people. Remember that. Anyway, Ben, a buddy of ours over at Engadget HD, uh, Mr. We, we just mentioned him. <laughs> yeah, we just mentioned him. He posted his review of the Seton Infinity V4 cable card on Engadget HD last week. Or this week? Last week. Last week. Ah, I'll get this right one of these days. It was days. eight days old when we recorded this, so it might ah, be a week and a half. We are time, time traveling this. here. Well, the short answer. The short answer <laughs> is that he loves it, and who wouldn't love recording four HD channels simultaneously? And the fact that you can build that yourself, and really, if you think about it, no cost for monthly subscription fees, mm -hmm. short of what you pay to get that cable card, which is often just a couple of dollars a month. Yeah. Yummy. Uh, TiVo and Tasty. Moxie and company, you're going to have some... Gonna have some more company real soon. That's all I can say. <laughs> Home builders. You're gonna need more hard drives. Yes. Uh, Captain, we need more storage. I have plenty of hard drives. <laughs> I have tons of hard drives. Need more larger hard drives. <laughs> HD.
deviation 